Hey there everybody, this is Jonathan from Hiking in SC. I am actually out here hiking with my boy, which is a first. Um, it's exciting to be able to get him out on the trail. It is a gorgeous fall day and you may be able to see some of these gorgeous leaves behind me. My boy says he does not want to be on film, so we'll just have to keep him out of it for today. Uh, it's awesome to get out and uh, enjoy the woods with your kids. So ride along with us today as we go through the Briss uh, Sulphur Springs Trail at the Paris Mountain State Park. Today, I want to talk to you about something that you would never think of while hiking. Most people normally wouldn't. But these are the kind of things that I think about when I'm out here. I just found out that my dad is about to begin divorce number four. And it's not like he's trying to set a world record or anything. It's that I think he doesn't understand certain things about women and how God created us to be and how to learn how to be with them. For me, I always used to wonder where in the Bible it says, whoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and finds the favor of the Lord. And I always used to be like, seriously? What? What does that mean? Like, what did, what did you mean by that? Well, Here's what I think it means. So let's make a comparison. The one thing that I know is that a woman does not want a man to have any lines. What that means is if you are with your wife, there should be no partitions in your life. That's why God said you're supposed to be as one, right? So if you find yourself having a line that's oh you shouldn't ask me about that or you shouldn't question me or you shouldn't be um, wondering about where I'm at or things like that that's a partition you're trying to create a place for yourself as a man that she's not able to access and that's not gonna work there shouldn't be any lines at all Yes, I know that's easier said than done. But if you know anything about God and how He wants us to be with Him, is exactly the same. Hmm, interesting how that is, right? God doesn't want us to have any partitions or any places that we're not supposed to go or that He's not supposed to go either. It's all supposed to be accessible to Him. And that's what God wants to teach us through having a wife. We are supposed to be completely boundary free not meaning things like boundaries like putting ice cubes in the refrigerator I'm talking about boundaries that are within your heart such as your phone or you know your possessions and those kind of things also your time that is a huge one sometimes I talk with people that I work with and there's a guy that I was talking with and he said you know my wife is so jealous and hates when I go to events that I'm involved with and I don't know what it is she just always hates that particular event and I said well it's not really that it's that she feels that that is consuming too much of you or that there's an imbalance there right so something is not showing her that she's loved because you're spending so much time doing whatever this is so you need to talk and communicate and find out you know what is it that's not making you feel loved about this time that I'm spending now something that I forgot to tell him was that maybe she doesn't feel inspired anymore. What do I mean by that? Well, your wife needs to be 
inspired. She wants to know that you connect with her not only in family and kid stuff, but in her dreams, her aspirations, and everything else, right? So in the 25 or 30 years that she's been alive, she's been dreaming about Prince Charming, right? Coming in a way and sweeping her off her feet. And guess what? You ain't doing that anymore. So at the beginning, she thought, we're gonna run away together. We're gonna have children. We're gonna blah, 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 fill in the blank, right? Well now, you're not talking about those dreams that she used to have or that even you used to have. You're not talking about what she wants to do with her life, right? Because now you just assume that she wants to be with you and raise your children, blah, 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 right? Well, let me just tell you, that doesn't work. Life is kind of like this hike. It's long term, it's long distance. So you need to ask her at least once every two years, what is on your bucket list? What things do you wanted to do in your life that we haven't done yet, right? You, she needs to be inspired. And if she's not inspired uh, by life, then you're not communicating that you want to have a future and build something with her in it. So, here are some helpful books that you need to read. And if you don't like to read, the best way to do it is through like audiobooks. But one of those books is called The Five Love Languages. And the other one is a book called uh, The Four Tendencies. And that is by Gretchen Rubin. If you read these books, it'll start to kind of put in your mind that um, there's more to it than what you see just on the surface. One of the things you're going to find is not everybody responds to the same stimuli, so to speak. So something that's going to tell her that she's loved and cherished is not the same thing that's going to make you feel that way. So let's see if I can remember all of them. One is physical touch. One is quality time. One is acts of service, then there's receiving gifts, and words of affirmation. So, you need to find out which one your wife feels makes her feel loved. Okay? It could be a combination of these. If you think that, and this is going to be a little bit mm, blunt, but that's just the way it's got to be. If you think that your wife is just kind of like a sex doll that, you know, is just going to be around whenever the mood strikes, well, that mood is probably not going to strike her as much as it did you. She needs to feel inspired. When she looks at you, she wants to feel respect, right? And if you have not mm, maintained your side of the contract let's be real um, when you get married and she says for better or for worse there's a little bit more to it than that she wants to feel how she feels when she married you not like she feels most of the time 40 years later right where you're sitting around arguing around about crock pots and who's gonna clean dishes and things like that right she wants to feel that where she can daydream about you so if there's nothing that inspires her to do that you're in trouble yes these are the kind of things that i think about when i'm hiking it's kind of weird but i'm usually thinking kind of overarching you know kind of thoughts like this but if you're wondering if i'm on the right track i'll give you a little challenge show this to your wife and see if she shakes her head and says hmm on the right track or not um, it might be interesting to find out so if you're a lady and you kind of think that this is probably knocking on the right door then uh, leave a comment 
I'd love to know if I'm even remotely close or not. But uh, I just thought that I might share some interesting thoughts that rumble through my mind. And yeah, I don't think that a man is beyond learning these things. Okay, I think that it is possible. Uh, most of the time, it has to be an emergency situation for a man to really change, right? Um, but I think it is possible. There just has to be a desire and some information uh, in a non-threatening way. And you, so, you, so as an example, one thing that God did for us to inspire us is heaven, right? So it's something that we're able to keep in our mind and say, you know, I really want to get to that or I really want to reach that level with him. So that's something that we as the husband or boyfriend or whatever are supposed to do for our lady coming home and thinking that, oh, I went to work. So I'm going to come home and plop on the couch my work is done it isn't gonna fly your work is not done if you're not talking and communicating with your wife and finding out what it is you can do to inspire her and kind of just engage her make her um, her mind go into this daydreaming type state you know like what does she want to do with her life and it's not taking care of the kids and washing laundry okay just a FYI you'll learn from the book the four tendencies that there are certain things that make people where they are compatible or not compatible and th ways that they can kind of mm, bridge the boundaries bridge bridge the gap in between um, in the ways that they communicate and just the way that their brain thinks so uh, it's a fantastic book you'll be like wow that explains a lot anyways so real quick um, if you're addicted to anything hiking like I am I'm gonna put two videos over here to your right um, they will give you tips, tricks, and all kinds of information for hiking in this wonderful state of ours, South Carolina. Now get out there and hike.